The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, finally for number four, we have a word problem here. Um, but this is going to be using our trig function. So a hot air balloon is rising vertically at a rate of one foot per second. A person sees a balloon location A with an angle of elevation of 45 degrees. So let me draw what that means here. So the person is standing uh, down here. And we're going to call this point A. And then we're going to call this point B. So when they first see the balloon, its an angle of elevation is 45 degrees. So that's the angle from there, from the ground up to looking at the balloon at point A. Two minutes later, the angle of elevation is 60. So that tells you that this angle is 60 degrees, the angle between the ground and the line going up to point B. So it says label the angle of elevations on the sketch below. All you have to do is basically just what I said there. 45 is the first angle, 60 is the second angle. And we need to figure out what h is. So h is this different this distance here. So h is the distance that the balloon had gone from point A up to point B. So if it's rising vertically at a rate of one foot per second, and the time distance here is two minutes. So from point A to point B is two minutes. And it was going at one foot per second. First of all, how many seconds are in two minutes? 120. And if it rose one foot every second for two minutes, it went up 120 feet. So therefore, we know that h is going to be 120 feet. Okay, so the last thing we can solve for, we call this part y, this part x. You can see here that if we have a 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle means that x and y have to be the same thing. So that's another thing we can write. So the part c says write tangent 45 and tangent of 60 in terms of x and y. Well, tan 45 tan is opposite over adjacent, we would have y over x. Tangent 60, we have opposite over adjacent, but now our opposite is this entire side, because 60 is this whole angle, opposite over adjacent. So that would tell us it's y plus 120, because that's what h is, over x. So then finally, part D is just solving for x and y. Remember that we already said that they have to be the same thing. So we know that this is equal to 1 because they're the same thing. Tangent 45 equals 1. That makes sense. So all that means is to solve for x and therefore y, instead of y here, we could just write x because they're the same thing. And all we need to know then is what is tangent of 60. So tangent of 60 is sine 60 over cosine 60, that's going to be root 3. So we have root 3 equals x plus 120 over x. So like I said, we're solving, I can just put x in for y because they are equal. So now all we need to do is solve for x. You can multiply over, so we get root 3x equals x plus 120. We can subtract x over and factor it out. x times root 3 minus 1 equals 120. And finally, divide. 120 over root 3 minus 1. That's not rationalized, so you need to. And remember, this is y also, because y and x are the same. All we need to do then is rationalize the denominator. So this would be multiplying by root 3 plus 1 over root 3 plus 1. So we'd have 120, I'm write that down here, 120 times root 3 plus 1 
we can leave that factored like that. So at the bottom, difference of two squares, whenever you multiply by the conjugate, you always just get first one squared minus second one squared. We would get 3 minus 1, or 2. Finally, 120 and 2 can reduce to 60 root 3 plus 1. So that is the answer for both y and x. So like we said from the beginning, 45 degree angle tells you that y and x are the same. For easy proof of that, tangent 45 has to equal 1. So that tells you that they are the same. So that's your answer for both x and y. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.